A few days ago, I got a message from my sponsor, Mo Funland, saying that they had some new cubes to try. So, of course I said yes. So fast forward a couple of days and... All the cubes have arrived. Oh yeah, and just a disclaimer, I went to Mo Funland yesterday with a bunch of my friends, and when we saw these cubes, um, all of us got a bit too excited, so... I have actually tried out these cubes um, for a few minutes, but they're still on the out-of-the-box settings and I haven't had much time to actually use them. Why don't we start with these two Tornado V4s? So they seem to come in two versions, the flagship and the Pioneer edition. And the boxes actually have different designs. So this one's the standard one, or the flagship one, where there's only one magnet on the edge. And this one's the Pioneer edition with I believe what TE calls the Predator Magnet. Um, interesting choice of words, but sure. Okay, so this comes with a credit card. And uh, so these kind of look like the older gun boxes, but I don't see any buttons on it. Let's take a look at the accessories first. So we have this like small white bunch of tutorials and a blank center cap okay that's good so people who do blind can actually use this cube without being penalized we also have this oh we also have this new te bag uh i believe this one also comes with the tornado version 3 but i've never actually had one so yeah these feel like synthetic leather this box opens like yeah there we go oh, these magnets are very strong that is and I broke the first box of the first cube of the day, wonderful. But anyway, back to the magnets, these are like, just, just listen to this. Yeah, that's incredibly strong. I can't tell any differences between this and, you know, a normal Tornado V3, but... Yeah, feels pretty solid out of the box. Um, as someone who's never used a Tornado V3, if you gave this to me and just told me that it was a Tornado V3, I would just straight up believe you. A little bit tight out of the box. I like how stable it is right now, but yeah, it could use a little bit of adjusting. Let's take a look at this tensioning system. That is an unnecessarily thick center cap. Okay, so I think that this tensioning system is about the same as the original TV3. Oh dear, I hope you can read Chinese. Ahahaha, <laughs> no, there's English. Jacob, please come back, we need you. This pamphlet seems to indicate the use of a screwdriver. And I think it's for adjusting the magnets on the corners over here. As you can see, the corners are the ones where you adjust the magnets. Yeah, the tensioning system in the center seems to be... Okay, good, I didn't break it. So the way you do it is you flip out this latch, then you can adjust it back and forth. So that was the standard version, so now I'm gonna take a look at the Pioneer Edition. Whoops. Alright, same credit card, but... Looks like the design also includes those Predator magnets. Okay, accessories. I believe that these should still be all the same. No, actually. So one of them is matte for the flagship edition, and the other one is UV coated, which I believe is because this cube is also UV coated, which I am right, so. Loud magnet box again. Let's do some turns. Hang on, let me compare it to the standard. They feel the same, but they also feel very different. <laughs> that analogy made no sense. But okay, so first of all, magnet strength. You can very clearly feel that these are much stronger if you go slowly. And these are about standard strength, so... Does this one auto-align? I feel like it kind of does. Alright, let me misalign this in. Uh, no, apparently. It doesn't seem to auto-align. The way I believe these magnets work is that this one in the center attracts the one in the corners, but the other two surrounding the one in the center repels the corners, so that's meant to create like a... I, I don't know what it's meant to do. And it feels a lot blockier than this version. This one just feels really nice and soft and smooth out of the box. You can feel a lot of contact between these pieces, and this one feels like a heavier, slower, blockier version of the standard one. So, those were the two Tornado V4s. They seem pretty promising at the moment, this one more so than this one. 
but that might change after some trials. So I'm not gonna unbox this gun routine yet because we have this monster go thing to get through. Uh, probably won't spend more than a few minutes on this. Let's tear this open, let's get a nice clean tear. Oh, that was nice and clean. Oh, this looks very small. I'm not sure if it's just my eyes deceiving me, but this is... This looks tiny. Wait. Is it really that small? Oh yeah, it's absolutely tiny. Oh my gosh. Now look at this. It's so much smaller. The piece design is really weird. The edges are very, very rounded and the center caps are very square. Oh. Honestly, it doesn't feel half bad. I'm not sure what the price is, but I don't think it's that cheap. Of course, you can't adjust anything because it's meant to be a beginner-friendly cube. Let's take a look at the pieces. Wait, can you even take the center caps off? No, you cannot. Wow, I guess you can't adjust it at all and everything's just set. You can't even adjust the screw, I have no idea why. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if beginners would buy this. This feels not so great for beginners. It's really tiny, it's just a very weird cube. So let's put it at that and now I shall edge you no further. It's time for the gun 15. Wonderful. Okay, so we have the gun credit card as always. The box design looks amazing, as always, again. And I've heard a lot of feedback about the GAN 15. It seems like Ghana has went through a lot of lengths to actually try and improve this cube over the 13 and the 14, which a lot of people didn't really like. So, a standard gun bag. Let's take a look at these. Oh, wow! That is... Hang on. Look at this. What is this? And you have this, like, EpiPen injector tool. These are surprisingly few accessories compared to normal gun. Normally they'd have like a massive... Oh my gosh, the paper quality is amazing. It feels really nice and matte. I don't know how to say it. And this one's just like terrible magazine paper. Uh, I, I should not be getting too preoccupied over the paper quality, but it's so nice. I would buy this cube just for the paper. I've also heard that the GAN 15 doesn't actually come with any adjustable magnets, so let's see if that's actually true. Wow, this is such a nice box. Yeah, it's one of these where you press it open. Yeah, that is very light. It feels... It feels like almost half the weight of this. Alright, first turns. Yeah, I don't know if I like this, but alright, don't get me wrong, I am a fan of light cubes. I like my cubes light, like I myself am very light. It feels too light, like I want to have something to hold when I'm turning, I just don't want to be able to like, you know, flick it and have it do a U2 and I just want to do a U. I don't feel like I can just spam TPS on this, I feel like I have to turn really really slowly to not lock up. But then if I'm just doing a J from slowly, sure it. It's, it's aight, but let, let's see if I try to spam. Alright, let's take a look at the magnet settings. Okay, so I guess they actually didn't make any adjustable magnets here or here, so... I'm gonna place a bet right now. There's adjustable magnets underneath this, alright? I might have just looked like a really dumb guy, but... Okay, I was right, I was right. Oh wow, that is... That is very colourful. So I believe that these are for... Yeah, I believe that these can be used to change the magnets in here, where you have this corner to core magnets. So. Alright, so I guess Gun stopped with the 1296 combinations where like 99% of them are terrible. Well, that's pretty interesting as well. Um, it looks like they actually squared off the center pieces. I don't know if you can see them. Let me remove some more pieces. So if you take a look at this center cap over here, the sides over here seem to be squarish, which is not something Gun normally does. I've only ever seen this on, you know, like an RS3M 2020, or just the RS3M series at all. Oh, okay, so this makes sense now. So they give you two different options for these center caps. If you don't like it squared off, you can use this rounded version, which seems a lot more like Gun. so... I'm not too sure what difference that would make. Oh, this is so funny. 
get off. All right, let's take a look at this EpiPen, see how it works. I believe that this is only used for taking out the Santa cat, but I might be wrong. Let me even do this. Oh, it's like a multi-purpose tool. So you have this fire hydrant thing, which is meant for adjusting the tensions and the spring settings. And outside of that, you have this bigger EpiPen, which you can use to remove the center caps. Like... Like so. Ah. Yeah, this tensioning adjustment system, if they changed it, they didn't change it much at all compared to the GAN 14 and the earlier versions. So this one's for taking out the center caps. I don't know why you need this, like... Come on, God. Look at this tornado. Look at how easy that is. I just use my fingernail, I dig it into the cap, and poof, it comes off. I don't want to have, like, epi pen my thing in. You can take off these magnets using these small little weird fire hydrant prongs. So you put it in here, then you turn the magnet rod 60 degrees, and you take it out. I'm not sure why they didn't opt to do um, any magnet adjustment on the sides of the corners between the edge to corner magnets, but my hope is that that would actually reduce the price of this cube because gun cubes are already expensive enough. So if this makes it a lot cheaper, then let it be so. So far, this does not seem that usable out of the box, but could it have potential to be a really good cube? Uh, maybe. And um, yeah, I do feel like the corner cutting on the gun 15 isn't that great though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is what I was struggling with just now. If you misalign the top and you try and do it like an Thumb F move, it just catches, and it's not even like that much of a misalignment. So let me try it on the tornado, the misalign and do that. Yeah, it just corner cuts really easily. Oh wait, actually I do want to try something. So I also remember hearing that the Gun 15 doesn't really pop that much. When you and all these speedsters were around the table with these 15 cubes testing them, how many yeah. of them popped? I don't think I saw one pop. That's very... I don't think I saw a single one pop. So I'm gonna try and set it on the loosest settings possible and see how long it takes for me to get a pop. A few moments later. Okay, so now the cube should be on its loosest possible settings. Uh, I haven't changed the magnet strength, I've only changed the tension and uh, spring adjustment. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is even less usable. I'm just gonna do a few solves and see if it pops within that time. Okay, never mind, but that's your pop. I guess that's an improvement on the normal Gun 14 and Gun 13s. People were just popping on normal settings. And even on the looser setting on the Gun 15, it's kind of pop resistant. I'll get back to you in a few hours. I'll go and set up at lubricant, uh, tension the cubes a little bit, and yeah, I'll let you know how it is. Peace. All right, so I spent a few hours with each of these cubes and I have some pretty interesting thoughts. So let's start with the Tornado version 4 uh, flagship edition. This one's pretty great. I think that, as I mentioned, it performs pretty well. It corner cuts very well. Um, I'm normally able to get times around my global, and I was also able to get an 8.41 average of 5, which I think you're seeing on the site right now. It's really stable, soft, smooth, compact while turning, and you can definitely set it up to be fast or slow depending on your preference and on your turning style. And I'm actually thinking of getting one for myself because technically this one doesn't belong to me. It belongs to More Funland. So yeah, pretty good. If you like the TV3, you're also gonna like this one. Uh, 8 out of 10 cube. Then you have the Pioneer Edition, which um, I don't know if I liked it more than the flagship edition. So this one has UV coating and then it's, it also has additional magnets and predator magnets. And these all combined kind of made it slower, more heavy, it corner cuts a bit more roughly, and while the pieces don't have any major design changes, I sort of found myself locking up a lot more on last layer and whatnot, and knowing that this is about 14 USD more expensive than this one, I don't think it's worth it to get this one. Like, I'd say they're about the same, this one might be slightly worse than uh, the flagship edition, so in my opinion, I'd say save your money, just get this one. This one's an interesting cube and props to TE for trying, but this is not it. 7 out of 10 cube. Okay, now onto the controversial bit, the GAN 15. So 
I came into this really wanting to like the Gun 15, you know, it's the first time I'd ever gotten an unreleased cube, and out of the box it really felt like it had pretty good potential. And yeah, but when I actually did some solves and I tried adjusting the magnets and all the tensions, I realized I really did not like this cube. It's really fast, uncontrollably fast out of the box. It corner cuts really weirdly. I don't think it performs that well. Sometimes I have like lockups like these and I'm just trying to do an F move. So yeah, it's just really weird. And when I was doing souls with it, I could barely even get sub 10 or within one second of my global at all. And compared to my GAN 12, I did it so much more accurately, so much more lightly, just to make sure I don't lock up that it's been so incredibly annoying. And um, yeah, what about changing the settings, you might ask. Yes, I tried changing the settings, okay? I made it looser, I made it tighter. If it's too loose, it becomes too fast, no matter how much slow lubricant I add. If I tighten it too much, it just corner cuts even worse than it already does right now on a normal setting. And one more thing, when I tried out this monster Go Cube, within 5 minutes of using this cube, I got a sub-10 average, and I had to take 2 hours just to get a sub-10 average on the GAN 15, so... I don't know what it is about it. Yeah, and if I, hasn't, and if I haven't said already, I don't like this cube either. It's, it's just a really weird cube, but, you know, as a beginner, maybe you like it. I just say, get an RS during 2020. Now I have so much respect for anyone who uses GAN cubes, including like Yihang, Timon, Leo, Matty, I, I don't know how you use this cube, okay? I don't get how you use this without locking up so many times in your solve and, and just turning at that insane speed, so... I would almost go on the verge of forgiving Yi Heng for his, you know, sliding 0.78 world record, which was um, technically cheating, just because he's able to use such a locky cube. But, okay, maybe I won't go that far, that is a bit controversial, but you get my point. If you want this cube to be main-worthy, you need to have very accurate turning, and very smooth turning, and, you know, just... And you must like fast cubes as well, which I personally don't, so... So, yeah, that's about it for this unboxing and review. I spent a fair bit of time testing these cubes out, so if you could subscribe to this channel or like the video, that would be amazing. Thank you very much to MoFunLand for giving me the chance to try these cubes, and thank you for GAN for sending out the GAN15 to MoFunLand. Bye-bye.